Hello all, my name is Ryan Olson with Whitebone Creations and today I'm just doing one of the most fun hunts you can do or you might even classify it as a shoot but I'm doing a little predator management or varmint management today. I'm up on the Tejon Ranch, I'm an employee here, I'm also a member here and I love to shoot ground squirrels. Come along with me on this little journey, I'm going to try and shoot 10 of them on film and then I'm really going to go to work but it's kind of hard to get set up. Oh, 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 oh. hold on now. <laughs> Have you ever had somebody say, I don't kill anything I don't eat? Well, this guy does not follow those rules. Now, when it comes to big game, we consume everything that we kill. But when it comes to managing varmints and things like rodents and predators and all those non-game animals, we encourage nutrient recycling, meaning leave it lay, let it go back into the soil, let the birds, other varmints, bugs, let everything take care of it just like as if it died naturally. Just keep those numbers in check for so many reasons. Squirrels carry the bubonic plague. They multiply in numbers horribly. This is a cattle ranch. They create tons of burrows. Cattle break their legs. It just becomes an obstacle that you don't need on the landscape in such extreme numbers. We typically shoot them in that time of the year where the wildflowers have come up, the grass is green, everything is beautiful, and it just makes for a really enjoyable outdoor shooting day, and you're increasing your marksmanship skills. It's a fantastic way to get a young person or a new hunter started in the outdoors, practicing, and just experiencing all the things that come with hunting outside. Now, the second you comprehend the management tool, meaning you're doing a service to that species and to the landscape, it makes zero difference in the life of an animal whether or not you consumed it after it's dead. Let that sink in one time. All right, all right, let's just dump a few. never gets old yo that sun is going down and I got to wrap up this film but I wanted to uh, just make a couple of quick notes if you're hunting with kids make sure you have some gloves and some hand sanitizer you don't really want to be handling them but I encourage taking pictures of the experience take a picture of a squirrel have the kids hold them just make sure you're cleaning them really good because they do carry a bunch of disease lastly fantastic animal to practice skinning on you can skin them, you can gut them, you can quarter them, just deal with them kind of quick and then discard them. It's a great practice piece. For example, my son is tying flies. He absolutely is head over heels about fly fishing right now. And so they use a lot of like face hair on rabbits and short hair. So I think I'm just gonna skin him a little bit, show you maybe a piece of that, maybe knock off all four quarters in his back straps. But I'm gonna save a little bit of that for him so maybe there's a color pattern in here that he would use to tie flies, then it's a win-win. But get out there and get it done. There's your squirrel cape, flying squirrel. I made a mess of my car, holy crud. All right, y'all, you know the drill. If you would please remove your hat, I'd like to close in prayer. Lord, thank you for ground squirrels, the perfect off-season practice critter. 
thank you for clarity when it comes to managing animals, and thank you for making these times extremely special. And it's in your name we pray. Amen.